Hi, welcome to um, my food etiquette series. A um, little, little disclaimer first. Um, I'm simply showing you the way I teach my dogs around food and my expectations around food. You need to be aware that anything to do with animals and food, there's always inherent risks that things can go wrong. And so if you're not completely comfortable or if you don't know your dog, um, then seek out a professional and get them to help you. Remember, this is how I deal with my dogs. And uh, I know my dogs and I'm here with my dogs and I'm watching for all the signs of my dogs uh, for any subtle changes. So I act accordingly to that. Um, I can't predict anything with anybody else's dogs. So this is purely on how I do my dogs. So having said that, there are certain expectations I have of an animal and behavior around food is really, really important. I expect around food to, for, to a dog to be calm. I expect the dog to leave the food and wait until they're told they can have it. Um, a dog understands that I, I provide and I own its greatest resource and that's food. And when a dog understands that, um, you end up with a, a dog that is much safer, much calmer around food. This is mine, he understands that and that's why he's not trying to go for it. He's sitting there, he's calm, he'll get bored most likely because I'm not paying him any attention. He knows he can lay down. He knows that when he lays down, just like sit, it means stay and calm when he goes down. And he knows if there's food involved, that's an automatic silent leave as well. So this is what I expect all my dogs to be like around food. That I can put food down. He hasn't had breakfast and they will simply be nice and calm. As you can see, he doesn't want to look at it because he knows he doesn't have it and he's hungry. So he's just as happy just to turn around and look away from it and take away the temptation. Um, now on, on day one when I get a dog, whether it's a pup, um, whether it's a rescue, an older dog, whether it's uh, aggressive, whether it's had, uh, um, whether it has timid tendencies, no matter its background, no matter its breed, they all get taught the same thing. So the day that I bring a dog into my home, that dog gets a name and begins to be taught its name. With that name go, begins basic focus as well because I incorporate focus into a name. The dog is taught sit and in the background of that sit becomes a stay because I have an automatic stay even though it's not worked hard on the first thing is sit. The dog begins to learn um, about um, potty training. The dog is tethered, no exceptions other than if a dog is extremely aggressive and there's a concern with it on a tether. Um, but each dog's tested to see, otherwise they're all on a tether. And no exceptions, no matter, no matter the dog, whether it's aggressive or not, gets crate training and no exceptions, that dog will sleep in a lock crate that night. And the other thing that there are no exceptions for is every single dog will begin to be taught basic food manners and every single dog will do food manners before it gets fed. No exceptions, if they don't, they don't get fed. So what are basic food manners? Basic food manners is that a dog will sit, it'll calm, It'll shut up so it won't be whinging and whining. No jumping, no, no prancing, no nothing. It'll be sit. It'll sit calmly, be quiet, and it'll wait while the food's put down, or if the food's already down, it will wait until it's told it can take. And then it can go for it, and then it can have the food. That's basic food manners. And that is the first thing they're taught. And if that takes an hour or two hours of putting bowls down, leading dogs up to it, getting it six hours that's what it takes if it comes to the point where I've had enough and it's time that I'm going to go sit down and we'll go to bed then the dog goes hungry the food gets put up the dog goes hungry come back the next morning we do it again right. generally it won't take that long and once 
if, if you're 100% committed and 100% consistent, then a dog knows that it's not going to get away with it. Problems with food aggression happen when people don't teach these. Or they start to and it gets too hard to uh, they stick it down. Or they think, oh, the pup's new. And everybody says, oh, you know, let them settle in for a couple of weeks before you teach them anything. So it goes down. A couple of weeks that dog's been jumping and playing up for its food and crying and rushing at it jumping on you every time you bring it. It's already become a habit. The dog expects that that's okay. In fact, you've taught that it's okay behavior. So it's harder to get out. So I teach it from day one, and I've been feeding dogs since I was in nappies. And, you know, we've had packs of up to 20 do dogs, and, and, you know, we've just shared feed them. And I've, I've never been bitten by a dog over food, and I, I've never even had a dog growl at me over food. And um, I attribute a lot to that, it, 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 the time and the effort, you know, I was taught to put into teaching them um, what is allowable. So what I want, Koji, so what I want from a dog, yeah. Yeah. Okay. what I want from a dog is for that dog to be totally calm around food. So this is the end result of a dog being trained um, around food food, what's expected, and uh, he's gone through the training, and, and this is what expected is that one, as you can see, he'll be very calm around food, he hasn't eaten this morning, so he's also hungry. This has got fish in it, so fish is his second favourite food, only to root tails. So I, I can put that down, and I can not say anything, and I can walk away. I can come back, I can do whatever, I can pick it up, I can torment him a little bit with it, and I expect that when I come back, that food will still be there. And as you can see, he knows that's not his. So, ooh, that's getting a bit tempting, it's not mine, and he moves away from it. Good. Come around. And as you can see, there's no aggression, there's, there's, there's nothing there other than, oh, that's not mine. So I'll just leave it. And that's what I want around a dog. And I want him to remain really calm about it. And I want to be able to pick it up. And I want to be able to do what I want with it. I don't want him shoving in at me. I don't want him pushing. I don't want to have to worry about him becoming aggressive or tense up. I want him to be relaxed. And that's what it's about. It's all about having a dog that's very calm around food and having a dog um, that just accepts the food isn't theirs and they have no right to it until, until they're told that they can. Now every dog in your household should go through this training. There's no point just training one and I'll try and re remind you of that later and I'll make sure I use you know different dogs but every dog must go through this training. It's no point having one go through it and not the others because this training is not just about safety with humans, it's safety with other dogs, other animals. Okay? Because when two dogs are fighting over food, they can end up mauling each other, um, they can do a lot of damage, and then if humans are there, they can get caught up in the middle. And this is what you want a dog that knows they're just not supposed to pay too much attention to the food. And Coach is exceptionally good of where there's food involved and, and he hasn't been told he can have it, that he'll go around it, he'll back away from it, just without being told anything. He'll turn his back to it. Um, and the hungrier he is, the more he's likely to turn his back to it because he just doesn't want to know it. He doesn't want the temptation. So he just turns away from it. So it's not in, even in his sight anymore. And this is what you want, a really relaxed dog around food. All right, so we'll be back shortly, and we'll start on uh, the first um, video that will actually deal with the training, and that's just on basic manners, and it'll be how I teach that. It'll be how I teach a dog to sit quietly, wait until a command is given that the food is theirs. So we'll be back soon, and we'll show you that, and Koji will get to eat breakfast. Thank you.